Hello and welcome back to Battletech. We are, um, <clears throat> well, hey boss, we just completed those upgrades. We just up, uh, up, uh, completed those upgrades. Let's uh, queue up uh, another upgrade. We can do some more. Um, we don't need to do these recreation ones, although I'm sure they're nice for like story reasons. I wouldn't mind maybe doing the med bays. Training modules will, would also be pretty good. Uh, gain 30 experience points per day. I mean, that's kind of nice. Let's do that one. And that way we can train up uh, new people. In fact, you know what I could do is um, I could see if I could buy some more people. I guess not. We don't have access to a store right now. That's fine. Um, is there any... Let's see if there's any work that needs to be done to any of our mechs. Nope. Okay, well then we're going to go ahead and launch into the story campaign oh includes travel to tier how come we can't this is the last stepping stone on our way to cormadir must be in orbit to take contracts uh yeah just go ahead and travel there are we not oh i see we have to we have to actually travel there my bad all right let's uh do a pause i forgot that i left myself like paused before the travel let's uh i'll i'll i'll, I'll stop it for any events Okay, blaring klaxons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear, pacing the Argo. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a ragged-looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with a safe passage for a price, of course. While you consider your options, Samire pipes up. Commander, if you can buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up of the Leopard. That'll teach them not to mess with us. Uh, we're not liked by the Torians or the pirates, so I'm just gonna pay him off. It's it's not really a huge amount Morale decreased Swallowing your pride you approve the payment the look of disappointment on Samire's face echoes that the rest of the bridge That of the rest of the bridge crew adding insult to injury the voice over the bridge is Speaker drips with satisfaction a wise decision commander. You're welcome in our space anytime the pirate ships disappear into the starry distance. It's not the first time you find yourself wishing that the Argo was a battleship. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, the the 50,000, like, paying the 50,000 is far less expensive than the two morale I just lost for basically no reason. Like, I, I know that it's a scripted event, but, like, in that situation, it's like, hey, guys, we are, like, super good right now we've got like over five million credits we can totally afford to not have to deal with this i think that most people in the ship would be like yeah sure why not whatever like i don't know i guess they care but it just i, I feel like that is a hefty price i guess uh you know uh from a mechanical standpoint um morale shouldn't be as valuable as it is but um yeah it is so with that uh, last ship upgrade having been done, why don't we go ahead and queue up some recreation now that it's actually valuable. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. It's going to cost me 400-ish thousand uh, credits just to make up the morale we just lost. So that, that tells you how, you know, expensive that 50,000 price point was. I think that kind of sucks. All right, let's go ahead and proceed with this. I think this is good. Um, I thought I had another person with multi-hit, but I guess not. <clears throat> I... I'm not done with the Battlemaster, but the Awesome has been doing really well. Those three PPCs are just very, very nice, and the stability damage is nice. Um, we should probably lead with the Awesome. Because then, um, you know, by the time, like, you know, awesome Highlander. Um, the Highlander does some stability damage as well. So we could probably knock it over whatever we're hitting with these two mechs. And then that sets it up for the Annihilator to basically kill whatever it is that we need to kill. Um, also, the Highlander going second is pretty good because that means we're getting that pen shot of the gauze. And then the crab, you know, is just an overall finish it off kind of mech. But generally speaking, I've been using the um, crab as the tank. Uh, tank in a kind of um, RPG sense of, uh, you know, go go out there, take some shots, um, sensor 
you know lock on something and and just support the the the, the, the crowd and also take some shots maybe if uh uh in 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 stride of someone else you know in 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 lieu of someone else anyway i'm not sure what to expect on this mission but it is three and a half stars we're getting kind of spicy um shouldn't be too bad but we'll see all righty here we go Commander, we're making a push on the Directorate's primary shipyard. If our attack is successful, what's left of my uncle's fleet will be rendered useless. But we're going to need your help. The shipyard is protected by enormous gun batteries that draw their power from the generators in front of you. I need to destroy those generators before our dropships enter their weapons range. There are three generators. Designated Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Take out all three structures, mop up any surviving Directorate units, and our dropship fleet will be clear to handle the rest. Go take out those generators, Commander. Cool. I can do that. I'm cool to do that. Let me do that for you, Lady Arano. Um, let me just see what is a good, uh, you know, approach on this. I, I like this, uh little here hill here let's uh let's sprint up there and see what we can see that spider is a directorate prototype specially modified to serve as a forward observer i've heard stories about these they can fight but their primary function is marking targets for artillery bombardment uh oh that's not good keep your eyes open boss directorate has too much valuable hardware on here to risk firing their artillery blind if you can destroy all the forward observers it should stop them from calling out any future artillery strikes but be careful any targets they've already marked will still be in danger of bombardment oof well so long as like um you know what i was doing in the previous uh mission i think will work out i'm gonna i'm not even gonna walk i don't have a very good way of um getting up there with um you know the awesome without exposing myself too much so i'm just going to kind of hold back a little bit uh, okay so we're actually like really really okay here um i don't think we can do a sensor lock can we do a sensor lock on a building oh that sucks okay um let's see if we if i maybe if i move forward a little bit maybe i can do a sensor lock on the building but I really, really don't want to expose myself too much. It's it's in, it's in though. And we're not even close to that spider. I don't even know where that spider is. Where is that spider? It's just like me in my house when I see it. You know when you're you're in the in the washroom and you see it, you you see a spider. And then it disappears, like you look away for a moment and it's it, you dis it disappears and you're like, where did it go? It's exactly like that. Um, don't really like what's going on here. Uh, I don't want to have to, I don't want to move up too much and then get seen. Okay, thank you airplane for your input. Appreciate you, but let's just do an LRM-20. You know, we can always do a follow-up shot later. We could move... Like, this is far out of range of that spider. There's no way they can, they can reach me. Having that weird problem where uh, the game's having FPS hang-ups again or I wonder if I might want to turn some of the graphics down a bit okay we're gonna sprint forward a little bit with the awesome just run, got it. Just run. got it if we do run in there it would be a good idea Okay, would be a good idea to kill the spider that we can see like immediately. I can't believe we can't reach the generator from here. 
Like how how is it the LRMs like it's in our range? How is it we can't see it? Why can't we see it? Can we sensor lock it now? It's in our range. What's what's the deal? It's right there. Okay, whatever. Artillery hits in one round. I think we're okay here. I know we're like right on the edge there, but we should be okay. Um, yeah, it marks the spaces that are like specifically in danger. I copy. How come we can't hit the generator? Do we have to kill the turrets first? Got it. Cool. I'm, I'm trying to do more to conserve ammo these days. Because I am, like, I find myself running out of ammo halfway through a mission. And then I just have the gauze rifle. And the gauze rifle is nice, but it's, like, hardly enough. Why would you... On my way. Sometimes. Sometimes I struggle a little bit. We have 14 rounds to kill all three generators. Worth noting. Okay, um, wow. I guess we got to get right up in there, huh? Well, that puts us in range of the spider, possibly. Good to go. I really don't like that. Um, why don't we... Since we can't see... Rather than hit the generator now, what I'd like to do is sensor lock whatever that is, and I'm pretty sure that is the spider. Oh no, it's a quick draw. Well, that just uh, shocks me to the core. Where is the spider? We've got a couple vehicles. We can't split our shot, unfortunately, so I can't really hit... Like, I, I want to get rid of that striker. It's not, not really good for business. Um, I guess we're just going to shoot the building. It was really... I kind of wanted to do some damage to that quick draw, but if it was the spider, like, that's a different story. Let's just go ahead and hit the generator. We should be able to take it out with this. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, let's take out what we've got left, like, as we leave. The quick draw, I, I'm not gonna, you know, completely take the quick draw for granted. It's, um, you know, it's a bit spicier than, than not. Um, let's have... Oh, God, that's a horrible position. Let's sprint this way. I don't want to put the Annihilator in too much danger. Does kind of suck that the those vehicles are gonna get some free shots on us. Is that a okay? That's a sixty-five ton. The spiders are usually like forty to forty-five tons. They're usually not too bad. I uh, would really like to get in the forest here. There we go. Get that. Get that uh, damage reduction. And let's do a multi-hit and try and kill both of these. Um, we'll dedicate. All the large lasers to one and PPC and LRM to the other one. There we go. That was a good call. And I didn't think that would be enough to take out the second one, but you know, that's fine. Yeah, I also figured we'd take some shots from that quick draw. Don't like that the quick draw is just like getting to do its thing. Really don't like what's going on here okay this is this is better um still don't have a clean shot on the quick draw so i may as well try and take out the uh striker there we go kind of sucks dedicating a gauze shot with that but that's fine we're just gonna keep moving we have a lot of distance to cover my goodness oh my god i might have to split up my squad 
What is the obvious next target? Probably this one over here. We only have 13 rounds. Um, we might be able to... Well, this thing's only got medium lasers. This is, this is a lot of medium lasers, don't get me wrong, but... Um, we got a little bit of ammo on this right torso, so let's go for it. Firing everything I've got. Pilot lethal damage. We killed it. Excellent. Did you see this? Did you see it? I saw it. I saw it. Um, wow, okay, so the awesome really can't move here. Is it gonna have to- we're gonna have to go all the way around this stupid- Actually, I don't even think we can get through this. I think the... I think the awesome is gonna have to move through that artillery, unfortunately. Okay, we've got a Jenner. Fortunately, the Highlander had some evasion built up. There's a 30 ton. Okay, that's going to be a spider for sure. That's probably a spider as well, actually. They're both 30 tons. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, it looks to me like they don't... They've already moved up, so they've used up their turn. So we want to take this opportunity and try and kill at least one of them. Like, we would like to kill both of them. Unfortunately, it really kind of sucks that they uh that there's two of them right on our doorstep yeah there's one spider we're gonna do a precision sh strike on it um ba -ba 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 -ba. it's only got two medium lasers i don't know i'll just go for the head and see what we can get you never know we might get lucky we did head hit pilot injured that's not bad um, yeah, honestly, if we can, like, finish it off with the Highlander, we might have a chance of killing both of these. Let's maybe not do a precision. Roger. It does have damage reduction, unfortunately, and it had also insane evasion. We didn't take it out. That's really unfortunate. I'm thinking if I can hit it from like here. We don't have a great line of sight. We'd like to use all of our guns if possible. On my way. Um, this thing's only got 14 health left. Let's just do the AC five and two. Perfect. I really don't like the awesome like I, I can't I can't actually get through this stupid landscape This is what I get for not putting jump jets on a on a mech I, I wish I had a clear indicator of where there is a ledge and where there is not So the awesome's gonna have to go the long way around that means we're not gonna be able to take a shot on that second spider Probably means it's gonna get to lock on something Highlander still has some evasion built up, which is nice. Hey, it didn't move up. Can we please get out of this? Thank you. Um, the Annihilator can't get a line of sight on that thing, unfortunately. Oh, we can. It's not a great line of sight, but I'll take it. And it also means that it opens it up for other people to take a shot. And let's see. I think we could possibly take it out now if I get really lucky with this. Yes! Okay, so at this point, um, I'm just going to sprint for the next generator because we've wasted i wouldn't say waste waste is a hard word for it but we've spent a lot of turns kind of messing around with um some of this stuff and i would like to like it's just a jenner I, definitely we're going to take some damage here that we don't need to but the main thing that we had to worry about were those observers now we can avoid the the those uh, artillery shots like if they could have targeted one of my mechs, it would have made things so difficult for me. 
I'm yeah, I mean it's oh head hit. Is that like the one mech? Yeah, it's the one mech warrior that doesn't have a lot of health. I guess Decker doesn't have a lot of health either. Um would kind of like to, you know, hit this thing. The awesome is unfortunately not the mech to do it. So we're just going to sprint it right. forward, build up some evasion. Good to go. We're going to move the annihilator down. Unfortunately, they don't have jump jets either. Don't need to tell me twice. So let's just like hit this Jenner. Um, where's that ammo? right torso yeah we may as well take it let's do everything and then we'll pro hopefully this will kill it yeah excellent and now we have uh, plenty of turns to cool down we're gonna sprint up as fast as possible as soon as we have a line of sight on that generator we'll have uh lrms that can uh do some nice damage to it but boy howdy this kind of sucks got a new group of hostiles watching oh god damn it what is happening why does this game have such a hard time with camera good lord <laughs> it's 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 so weird to me how it doesn't like it, it does such a bad job of showing you like important stuff um we can't jump up un unfortunately so we're just going to continue sprinting up this lombard street style road Standing by. okay we can get up here and get a line of sight on one turret so that's pretty good I copy. uh we can probably take it out with just like that we don't need to hit it with two things oh god that's the really thing that that's the thing that sucks about one gauze rifle is it it doesn't do very much damage to the armor and so if it doesn't take it out it's just like kind of pointless a little bit okay we're sprinting down off that thing the annihilator is going to be lagging behind for a little while Might honestly be a good idea to split up our troop. Oh, we got four mechs heading our way. Got a sensor sensor locked. locked. That's not good. So what do we got over there? 50 ton, 30 ton, 50 ton. This really sucks that I got sensor locked. 45 ton. They're all pretty small mechs, but the fact that there are four of them makes, makes for quite a bit of an offense. We definitely want to get out of this garbage. On it. Honestly, it might be worth in the future to just like just hit it with a gauze rifle. Engaging target. As long as we're not doing an, a lot of damage to the armor, we may as well just do two hits to the you know with the gauze. Um. God, how do we even get up there? It kind of looks like we... Oh, okay, there is a route. It's not great, though. This kind of sucks. There's only one place we can get to with the, the uh, crab that is, like, out of range of this artillery. I'll do a sensor lock on that turret on the off chance someone else can hit it. Wow. We actually can hit it from here incredible my god that's quite the shot Moving out. i mean that's not nothing that's actually quite good ppc that's a, a little bit more predictable we should be able to hit it with the ppc it's like a very long range um laser nice really good stuff that's why it's you know if you can't do anything with a mech oh my god please ll destroyed oh i see that was the mech that i uh 
that was the that was the either the Jenner or the quick draw that I killed so we don't get the parts I guess Yo, this camera sucks the big one. Oh, is that a spider? That's not the same spider is it? I don't think it is because it would have told me that there were more observers we have seven rounds to kill these two generators. I don't know how we're going to do this. Ready for orders. Oh. Okay, we'll do another jump on the next turn and then we can um, probably uh, hit it with long range. But this, this is bad. Honestly, let's just hit that trebuchet. I also have a Jaeger mech. If I get the lucky 17%, then um, there's a good chance that I kill it. I think I hit something good. That's fine. Um. We could probably take out that trebuchet. So I didn't even hit it in the head. I guess, you know, that makes sense. Hit it in the leg, I suppose. Head hit, pilot injured. It's good, but it really sucks doing like two or three turns to uh, kill a mech like that. I, I feel like we should we should get our um, annihilator moving to the next zone. I'll I'll, I'll move like since she can actually be, be valuable in this um, circumstance, I will you know take the shot. But um, nice. Yeah, but I, I think that the awesome should also make its way to the next generator because we're not going to make it un uh, otherwise. We gotta, we gotta make a declarative decision here. Yeah, I mean, like he didn't honestly give us a lot of time, TBH. Okay, if I can hit this generator with the Highlander, that'll make a big difference, and then we can start moving over to the next generator. Should be able to make it in time, maybe. Yes, Commander. Yes. Um. Trying to figure out which would be best. Probably here. And with our left, yeah, we'll lean left a little bit. Or sorry, right, I guess. And we're just going to hit this with everything. I do not want to take a chance that um, it survives this bout. Second generator down. You've got one left. And I am going to just sprint. We're just going to sprint for it, like through the mechs, no less. We can get through this uh, artillery range. That's kind of nice. On you, Commander. We can co cover quite a lot of distance. Oh my god. It's like on top of another hill. Like, you know. On top of everything else. It's still like really far away in the grand scheme of things. Okay. Five rounds remaining. You know what would be kind of good in this um, match? Would have been a, a genuinely a scout. It's the first time I actually wish I had a, a Jenner. The crab is probably going to be the first to make it. I actually think that we should probably go up that road. I honestly don't know if I'm going to make it. It's just so far away. 
Why do they have to put these gen genders so far apart from each other? Standing by. Okay, so we're taking damage on the crab. What can I do for you? Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Standing by. And we can't well we can make it pretty far. There's a little little kind of uh I, I would say exploit spot there. It should it should be in range, but it's not. The, the worst thing about this is the crab not taking like the fact that the crab is the farthest or closest to um, Being able to to actually get to that gen means that I have to sprint with it and it, a sprinting crab generates basically no evasion So it is taking everything that people throw at it And we've been knocked down so that sucks Injury ignored there is that I feel like at this point the Highlanders got the best chance of getting first line of sight on that turret. Cold shot head? You guys are aiming for the head on the... Jesus. If my dude dies, I definitely am restarting this. But also, like, just wow. They're really going for it. Ugh, this sucks so much okay uh we're gonna have to fight with the crab i think i mean at this point i still wonder if sprinting isn't the best response our our rear armor armor is actually pretty good it's the it's our leg that's not good Almost wish that they were dumb enough to end their turn in a uh, artillery zone. Now here's the part that really sucks is I don't think I can make it through one of those zones in one turn. I think it's going to take me two turns to like get to the edge of it and then... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I know enemy in rear arc. I can't really do much about it. Not sure how much damage uh, I would take by ending my turn in one of these zones. So what we're gonna do? Let's see if there's any good jump. There's no good jump. I can't jump off that uh, up that cliff. So we're gonna lean our left armor in and actually fight back a little bit. Um, I feel like the vindicator is probably the biggest thing. It's got that PPC and that's damaging our sensors. Um, I'm just gonna go for the torso. Okay, that's our left laser critted and that's that destroyed. <gasps> oh, it's just line of sight on the turret. Okay, well, uh, if I can get two turrets, or sorry, two mechs to, to maybe be in range of the uh, generator on the next turn, I should take it. And I mean, um, we can actually shoot a mech here with the uh, Annihilator. I should definitely do that if I can. Yeah, screw you. That's the last of their forward observers. Really? That was a forward observer? Why didn't you tell me that? I'm not seeing any more activity from there. Okay, so if I had killed that thing like four turns ago, then then I wouldn't have to deal with the artillery. Oh my god. I thought that um, the forward observers just meant that they could target my mechs. I didn't realize that if I killed that spider, then I wouldn't have to deal with the artillery. That really sucks. 
they they were being good about they told me two forward observers and i killed two forward observers i didn't realize that that last spider was also a forward observer they didn't say anything about it that really bites imo okay we're gonna be t cutting this really close we're going to probably get line of sight on that generator on the next turn. Good to go. Just got it. Oh god, this sucks. I think I'm like the best case scenario is I get in range with the crab on the next turn and then I can hit it with the Highlander love that we can't hit this jerk um well I can sprint so we may as well and that way I think we can hit one with the PPC nope Wow, this mission sucks. Knocked down. Okay, what's happening over there? The crab got knocked over again. I, I have to assume that the leg got destroyed. Doing called shots on the crab. That's always bad. Um, this means that the crab is not going to get a chance to sprint, maybe? I'm going to have to try to just like take something out with the annihilator I have a I have a I think what I can do is get up and then use the the uh, vigilance to get our um, stability back and then sprint with the crab and then maybe hit it with the Highlander well we killed the vindicator which is nice so we're gonna have to reserve the Highlander I, I I hold out about a 20% chance that we're going to succeed here. I'm pretty sure those two turrets are going to get the fire on the crab. Nice. You know, I love when I knock down a, a mech basically gets up on the next turn. But they get to hit it. Hit my mech with like everything. Okay. Um, let's use vigilance. Confirm. Nope. Nope. Unavailable. Destroyed leg. So that's that. That destroyed leg is actually going to lose us the entire mission. That sucks so much. And it doesn't even make sense because I should be able to hit the generator from here. Like I should be able to sensor lock it or anything, but nope. So... Um, and because I've done something, now I can't like reserve the crab i was hoping maybe i could like if i couldn't hit it with the crab i would have to hit it with the highlander or or sorry get sight of it with the highlander so we're we're, we're actually screwed there's there's no way to win this now yeah i'm i'm not really impressed with that that's that's really annoying Just, let me just see. Yeah, we could just barely see the uh, generator. I wonder if I can. Can I like jump in? Oh, oh! It doesn't even make sense, but I don't care. If we missed with the gauze rifle there, I swear to God, 
That's the last of the generators. Good job, Commander. The ground batteries are down and our drop ships are clear to attack the shipyard. Mop up any remaining hostiles and I'll send, uh, send some iron to extract you. <sighs> Wait, you mean the turrets? No, the turrets are dead. So the only thing left really is... What? The Vindicator? I thought I destroyed the Vindicator. Did we lose... Wow. I almost want to restart anyway. We lost two of our best weapons on the crab. Sorry, all of our weapons on the crab. We lost all of them to complete this mission. Like Jesus. Waiting for orders. Confirm. I, I guess we couldn't hit it with the gauze. Well, that's fine. I'm willing to take the hit on that. Um, I gotta, I'm gonna have to find some better weapons, I guess. We might get some from this mission. Tyrlin is ours. Now there's nothing left between us and Cormadir. I'll drink to that. Hell, we all will. I've got a keg of Timbiqui Dark waiting in the Argos galley. And this feels like a, as good a time as any to crack it open. When we get back home, we're celebrating and drinks are on me. That was brutal. That was brutal. And we didn't get a bonus on that. Oh my god, we lost a heat bank as well? Jesus. Those heat banks are really valuable. <laughs> I have basically have not been able to find any replacement for them. We might have to reorient the king crab now. Um, well, we can get that weirdo spider if I wanted it. We could get the trebuchet if we wanted it. I'd rather just get some uh, weapons to replace. But it looks like they're not going to give us anything. Like, there's just nothing here. Jeez Louise, we just like... Wow. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build the spider. Um, and I'm going to build most of that trebuchet and hope that we get the third trebuchet part. We did not get the third trebuchet part. Should have taken those quick draw parts, actually. Could have built that quick draw. In fact, it would have been better than the trebuchet. I'm not sure why I took the trebuchets over the quick draw. Oh, well. All right. Well, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to refit the, the crab. That was not good. <clears throat> that was really, really bad, actually. But uh, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. This message is for High Lady Kamea Arano of the Oregon Reach. I am Elena... Marisol Chaplin, personal attaché to Protector Thomas Calderon of the Torian Concordat. The Torian Ministry of Intelligence has con uh, confirmed the authenticity of the evidence that you sent us. Are you sure it wasn't a deep fake? You have our thanks. It would seem that your uncle's duplicity has left its mark on all of us. Sounds promising. Our ambassadors have been in communication with representatives of the Federated Sons and they are negotiating a de-escalation of force along our shared border. All cooperation between the Torian Concordat and the Directorate has officially been terminated. We also have withdrawn our fleet and Director Santiago Espinosa has been recognized as an enemy of the Torian state. Should he ever dare to leave Oregon space, he will have us to contend with. Finally, I will personally review your reports of Torian war crimes in the Reach. If I find them credible, I will hold Commodore Ostergaard accountable for his actions upon his return. If what you've told me is true, he will stand before a firing squad. You have my word. With that, our business is concluded. Be well, Lady Arano. Protector Calderon wishes you success in your campaign to, to come. The image of, on the view screen cuts out as the recording comes to an end. Just a heads up. If I ever have to deal with anything like this again, I'm skipping town for the deep periphery. You're all welcome to join me. Yeah, okay. 
That sounds pretty great, Commander. No, seriously. After the war is over, maybe we could take a little field trip and leave all this ridiculous infighting between us, or behind. Behind us. In any case, Lady Arano, I think that congratulations are in order. With Tyrion liberated and the Torians out of the, out of the war, there's nothing left between us and the throne. The Directorate still has one card they can play. They have Lord Madeira. When we move on Cor Madeira, I will negotiate for his release, but first I must rally the Founding Houses. When I travel to Cormadir, it will be with all of our allies and their armies at my back. I want the throne world skies crowded with our dropship. What about the people here? Uh, there? When your invasion t fleet touches down, will you have their support? Yes, I will. Every victory we've won has shaken their support of my uncle. His popularity as a leader is shattered, and when the time to invade comes, the majority will side with us. With our fleet fleeing, uh, filling the skies and our supporters in the streets, my message will be unmistakable. Everywhere my uncle looks, he will see the Arano uh, Cormorant, the symbol of my house and our unshakable resolve. Don't uh, forget about us when you talk to that bastard. I want to be right there by your side. You will be. You have my word on that. Director Espinosa will see our strength, the strength of our fleet, of our unity, and of the loyalty of our people. And he will return Lord Madeira to us, or we will destroy him utterly. Be ready for my call, com uh, Commander. Together we will bring this war to a close. Lady Arena's contract to move on Cormadir is now available. This mission represents a point of no return. Resistance will be significant, and our forces will be committed once we begin the assault. We should be prepared to field multiple fully equipped lances. Multiple fully equipped lances? Like two separate teams? Uh, that's kind of spooky. Well, I'm not prepared for that. that We've got a spider. Hands down the most maneuverable mech you can find. A field, but it's made of paper. It's an excellent scout, though, and can even jump into the rear arc of most enemies for surprise back shots. We're going to need to do some mech repairs before our next contract, boss. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Big Simple took some... Uh, uh, took a, a couple of injuries which is uh, saying a lot because he gets two free injuries before he has to actually see the hospital um we're gonna level him up can we oh we can't quite get him we should level him up to full once um before we we take on this last mission decker fuck? is getting up there for piloting glitch is very close to being maxed out mandrake didn't see that mission. Medusa is maxed out on tactics, which is nice. Um, let's actually give him more guts. No, never mind. That's not going to get him that uh, health upgrade, so never mind. Um, <clears throat> well, let's have a look at the store. I might need to hire some more pilots. Um, Centurion, Quick Draw. Can we build the quick draw? We could build the quick draw if I buy that part. 60 ton mech isn't bad. Ooh, we could build a stalker. 85 tons. It's not bad. And it's got, uh, it's a pretty decent mech all around. Let's do that. I've been talking about building that since the beginning of the game. Stalker 3F mounts a ridiculous amount of weaponry, even for an assault mech. It is also notable for its incredibly poor heat management, which is the cost it pays for such amazing damage output. Powerful, but to be used wisely. Um, oh cool, we've got heat banks. We've got two very good heat banks. <clears throat> I need one of those to um, replace the one I lost. And I'll buy an extra one. Some good weaponry here, which I've now bought most of. And we'll go ahead and complete the quick draw. Why not? If I could build a second stalker, I actually think it would be worth it. Now, that's a lot of our money that we just spent. Um, let's go ahead and refit the crab. We'll uh, do this. I'm not going to do another mission for this uh, episode. Oh my god, 350,000 to replace those parts. 
I wish I could repair the weapons. There was a heat bank plus plus also. Oh God. Well, let's let's give this a think. Um, we could just make the crab a long range mech, but I think since I've been treating it like a tank, it might be better off as a short range. So we could kind of go back to being um, SRMs since I have a lot of SRMs. I have a lot of SRMs. Go back to SRMs and like short range lasers or even just large lasers. I guess I just took off a large laser, didn't I? No, I didn't. We lost all of our large lasers. Do I actually even have any large lasers? I've got some just large lasers, but you know, nothing more than that. We could also go um, short range missiles and AC-10s. Or we could just go completely ACs. I kind of have come around to ACs. I think they're they're fun. We only have two sp spots for um, cannons, though auto cannons. I wonder if the short range, how it is for stability. Obviously, the long range are three times twenty. <clears throat> That's three times twenty for a twenty. Let's look at the. 10 so it's 2 times 10 stability versus the SRMs 3 times 6 yeah the SRMs are definitely not as good for stability damage but we can take ones that give you know stability damage I'm going to keep some of these heat sinks I don't want to lose all of them Okay, um, let's throw this on, this on, this on, and this on. Cool. So we got four SRMs on there. And then we'll do, um, we're going to want to do lasers. So let's do like maybe two large lasers. The large laser is optimal 300. The SRMs are optimal 180. So honestly, it'd probably be better just to slap a bunch of medium lasers on this thing. I know we're basically turning this into the um, battle master, but I think the crab is more valuable because if, for, for doing something like this. Do we have any more room? No, we don't. Um, okay, so let's throw some ammo on here and then we'll see how much room we have left I'm gonna throw I'm gonna be very liberal with our ammo here Um, not bad In fact, we could probably put on Like one more It's not bad and we actually have quite a bit of room left more than I thought I would we could put on a put on a um, AC. This one is twelve. It would take up too much room. This one is eight. Well, okay. How about we take off one of these and we do an AC, like a really decent AC, ten. And then we put on some ammo for that, and that will bring us to like full um take off like one heat sink for another ammo and i think that this is good if our leg gets blown off again i mean i guess that's what happened is our leg got blown and it had all the ammo on it so it probably like did some really major damage to our other arm i actually think that this is decent I think that this is quite good. It's it is expensive though. Holy crap. We're going to want to get some more weaponry though and we're going to want to get a second lance going. We might bring the marauder back out of retirement. I'm not bringing the blackjack out of retirement. Don't don't you worry about that. 
Um, I think we already kind of have enough for a second lance. I think that this is okay. Um, this is our main lance. I like this a lot. And then, you know, once we... Let's, let's have a look at the stalker and we'll see if we can refit the stalker. Um... Let's... What do you mean repair? Oh, okay, never mind. It's, that button is just available always. Okay, let's ma max out the armor. Um... So what what appeals to me about this thing is just how many how much room for lasers it has but like also, you know May take note it did say uh, You don't necessarily like want to just go full heat on this thing. It's not great But we have quite a lot of heat banks Oh god, this thing is like takes up a lot of space we could go like heat bank um that's a heat bank plus plus mind heat bank and then let's throw on some heat sinks probably not going to put any of those medium lasers back on because they're all stock we don't want stock this thing is very very slow so we would like like it to be long range if possible i think this could be another good ppc PPC and maybe LRMs. It's got some. Uh, it's got some slots for uh, missiles. We don't really have anything. Any more special PPCs, unfortunately. What happened to? Didn't we have a spare PPC with like extra damage? I guess it's on something else that I can't remember. So let's go like two PPCs. We could even go f more, but the PPCs run really hot. Got to remember that. Go like two PPCs and then um, LRM 20, LRM 20. Oh, we're already overweight and we got to put ammo on this thing. How heavy are the, the heat banks are really weight efficient. Okay, let's swap out that second LRM 24 and LRM 15. That leaves us a little bit of breathing room for throwing ammo on this thing. We got to probably, we want to go like four of these. And then max that's good i'm pretty happy with this i think it, we could do better i definitely think this thing needs like a ttc <clears throat> plus three hit defense should put this on something um but for now i think this is good right. we're gonna want um i did make the quick draw we want to refit that as well Uh, this thing's got a lot of room. Um, quick draw is good for what exactly? It seems to have a lot of laser room. I think what it's got is actually good. Um, but I definitely think it's a bit too heavy. Like, it, it doesn't have any breathing room for armor. And even if I take off three jump jets, it still doesn't have breathing room for armor kind of feel like taking off the SRM. It's also an SRM4, so it's like, who cares? Um, now it's looking a bit better. Uh, I definitely think that if we're going to run M's, we should at least run good M's. Those are the last good M's that I have. This thing is very mobile. Uh, it would... Oh, we do have room for <clears throat> support. So we should put some support lasers on this thing. Actually is like, you know what we could do is, let's take off some medium lasers. This could be our brawler. Put on like an arm mod. How, how heavy is that? Two tons. This is getting goofy. Oh, maybe this is the thing we put the coil M on. Yeah, I know. Why not? Let's uh, let's get goofy with it. We're like stupidly overweight now. So let's only put one arm mod. I guess if I'm gonna put one arm mod on it, may as well be the one that has plus sixty damage.
Um, kind of want to take off the medium lasers. They're only one ton each, though, is the thing. The coil M is really weight efficient. Let's take off a couple heat sinks and put some jump jets back on. Actually, let's just like cool it with that. Um, so the idea here is that we're like, this is going to run around and punch stuff. This thing is only one ton, so we could like run it fairly hot. We could like take off a heat sink and then put a heat bank on it. Not sure what I put on that. Oh, I guess the, the jump jets make it more, mo more mobile. Let's keep that heat sink on, uh, heat bank on there and then put jump jets back on. Yeah, we want that mobility. In fact, let's even take the last heat sink off and put another jump jet on. It's going to run hot, but the heat bank is going to ensure that it can run hot. And because this thing is our brawler, it'll have tons of time to recover because it hopefully it'll be running up to other mechs and punching them. We definitely want to put a um, uh, cockpit mod in this thing, but uh, we can't right now, unfortunately. I actually think this is going to be legit. Um, let's let me just like take this off and put this back on, so that saves us a little bit of money. Because it takes it costs money to take stuff off if you're just putting the same part back on again. This is like how you pinch every penny. Okay. So I think that'll do it. Um, we do have a spider. I don't know what I'm going to do with the spider, but it is a prototype spider, so it's kind of fun that we got it. Um, okay, I don't think we're going to put in the blackjack, but I do think it might be worth bringing back the marauder, but I don't know how. Like, it worked really well, uh, assuming it had a very good pilot. Um, I don't know if we've got any kind of TTS that we could spare for it, and it really did require a PP, uh, uh, sorry, a TTS to make it work. But if we can find one for either energy or ballistics, I'll, I would throw one in here and uh, we could bring it back, bring back the sniper, the sniper marauder for a second mech. Um, okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. I guess we're heading into the home stretch here. Um, if you are enjoying the series, and if you have enjoyed the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.